Hey guys, I'm Derek and this is Ket. And we're here with Horizon Firearms and uh, we're gonna talk some more gun stuff today. Actually, we're gonna talk specifically today about bipods. Mm. So on social, we get a lot of questions and I know you do too yeah. uh, from customers is what bipod do we recommend? Yeah, we get that question quite a bit. And, and I'll be honest with you, I have tried a bunch of them um, for a couple of reasons. One, I mean, bipods, good bipods are not cheap. And right. I know, you know, there are cheaper options and we get asked all the time if it's really worth it. And so I kind of went on a, I don't know what you want to call it, <laughs> this last couple of years and I've tried just everything I can get my mission. hands on. Yeah. And so, you know, my mission was I got to find a bipod that's awesome for less than 200 bucks, right? Okay. And I've kind of come to the conclusion that that's not overly possible. Oh. And which is fine. But um, the one that stands out the most, and I honestly, no BS, believe that it's worth the money is the Atlas bipod, um, which is. It's crazy that, you know, it runs around $285, $280 for the bipod, okay. but it has a ton of features that make it worth that. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple of those. So, so prove it. So, <laughs> prove it. There you go. So, one thing you want to look at, at least for me, in a bipod is it's got to have adjustability, right? Mm -hmm. So, a couple of things you run into, I have really short forearms, so when I go to shooting, a lot of times, if, if the rifle platform is too high, then I don't get very stable. So, I need to be able to bring the bipod down but at the same time, you need to be able to extend it long as well. So what happens with the Atlas bipod, what's cool about it is it has push buttons on the side. So you can change the feet independently. So I can go down here and go That's forward. That's really nice. Which is awesome for shooting downhill. You know, the same way if I get on unlevel ground and I need to adjust the bipod legs in different heights, I can do some really crazy things with the bipod and get super steady and pretty quick. So they've got um, snap adjustments, just positive collar adjustments. Um, again, the push button here. Now another thing too that they've got built into this, so we've got the leg, multiple leg positions. It's got a little wing nut right here that you can adjust the tension. So if we're getting level, we like the iota, and you can actually oh, adjust nice. the pivot. So you can see the level there. Now, a little, more, a little more to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Now, see if you notice. What's cool about that is I can adjust the tension, but from a from you know a natural position without being too tight, it holds tension. Mm -hmm. So I can adjust that. Right. Boom. I'm gonna adjust it. I'm gonna get level. I'm gonna look at. But the, it, actually, it's still level too, even though you let it go. So. There you go. Okay. Exactly. That's what that's no, what I'm saying. Well, yeah. So that's it, holds, <laughs> it holds it super tight. So I can get level, and I can set my platform up, and I can look at an animal or look at a target, mm -hmm. and know when I return back, my level's gonna still be on. So nice. hold your rifle right there. Um, the other thing about it is it is a quick disconnect. So I know you can't see from that side of the camera, but I'll take it off and show you. Just the throw lever, and it goes on a normal Picatinny rail. So it comes on and off really easy. So I'm gonna set this gun down here real quick and show you just the bipod itself. So it's got a quick throw lever. So instead of having to turn a little wing nut or clip it on or the kind yeah. that's spread out. And, and then you got to like try and nudge those little exactly. hooks up around. Yeah, exactly. This So this has a quick little throw lever and you're good to go. Now the other thing a lot of people don't know or don't take advantage of is that was actually offers several different feet for these and several different extensions. So you can see a little, there's a little push button right here. You can push that in with a little pin and the bottom comes off. Okay. So I can add extensions, I can add spikes, I can add claws, depending on how much preload I like. And on the terrain you're hunting in. Exactly. And you know, what's nice about that is it's good and stiff uh, and with the spikes or the pegs in it, if you put a lot of front load or preload on your rifle, it's not gonna collapse on you. And one thing, I had on another bipod brand, which is what really turned me on to Atlas, is with a big 28 nozzler under recoil, I actually had the bipod collapse and scratch my gun really bad. Oh, no. So this way, I mean, it's impossible. It's physically fixed. So, and again, super, super fast to deploy. So, put it on here, push the button over, and that's it. That is easy. And so, you know, regardless of the price, the Atlas bipod's 100% worth it, in my opinion. And that's why here at Horizon, that's that's our number one bipod. So um, that's it. Appreciate, appreciate your time. Um, that's our talk about bipods today at Horizon. Catch us next time. Hey, make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. We're constantly posting photos of cool projects we're working on, um, hunting photos that customers send in.
Yep. We saw Facebook, it's Horizon Firearms. Instagram, it's Horizon Firearms. Crazy. It's crazy. It's so easy to find us. Just <laughs> comment on things you want to hear or see from us, and we love hearing from you.